On a stretch of road 60 kilometers from Kyiv, there lies a village in ruins, Andrivka. Its residents had the misfortune of playing host at gunpoint to Russian soldiers moving on the Ukrainian capital. The ensuing fight has left it a ghost town. Only a few haunted souls still living here, usually to be found on the benches. Russian soldiers came to our house with machine guns in their hands, says Anatoly Ivanovich. Do you have a telephone, they asked, a radio? If you did, they'd shoot you. He says three young people were killed. Anatoly has been married to Anastasia for 60 years. He says they decided if they had to die, they'd do it in their own home. Another bench, this one shared by Valya and Olya. Valya says she and others paid the Russian soldiers to let her children and grandchildren leave the village in the middle of March. The Russian soldiers asked a thousand dollars a car, she says. While those who remained hid in their basements, Russian soldiers lived in their houses. Ludmila Lushik says they stole everything. We've been building this house up for 40 years, she says. Now everything is gone. This is just one small street in a village, and it tells so much about what the people in this country, and in particularly in areas occupied by the Russian forces, have endured. Gates and doorways of houses still standing have been daubed with paint by Ukrainian deminers to let people know if they're safe. A question mark means not yet. A circle is yes, and a cross means there's a body, the number listed beside it. This man, his wife and his mother are not from the village, but they lost the family cat here when fighting forced them from the road as they drove through. It was hell here, says the man. They hid in a stranger's basement for 30 hours. Evidence of the Russian presence is everywhere you look. Now that they're gone, outside help is arriving. When it's Valya and Olya's turn, a care package delivered by a soldier, the toll these past weeks have taken cracks open. Back at the other bench, Anatoly is trying to cheer his wife. We loved each other from the very beginning, he says. They may be surrounded by so much ruin, but they are still somehow home. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Andrivka.